Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about some of the more important things about tuples in Python. So in the previous tutorial, I have covered about uh, the tuples, what exactly they are and what, what are the key functionalities in tuple. And we have understood about that tuples are immutable and some of the methods like length to find the length of the tuple, whatever the values are there, and then type to basically find the type of any data type within Python. Now there are other methods. So say for example, I want to find the number of instances Delhi has appeared in this particular tuple one. So there is a method count that we can use. So what I can do is I can use the method count. So I can say demo tuple one dot count and I can count the value Delhi and see how many times this value has appeared. So Delhi has appeared twice in this particular tuple one. So it should print the value two for me, right? So you can see that it has printed two. Let me comment these out. Okay, so this is one important method, built-in method that you can use with tuple. Then say, for example, I want to find the index of certain value, right? So say, for example, I want to see in at what particular location New York appears in the tuple. So what I can do is I can use the method index. So I can say demo tuple one dot index and provide the value for which you are looking for to find the index. So if I run this, it will print the index at which this particular value appears. So as we know, the index starts from 0, 1, 2, and 3. So New York appears at index 3. So these are, you know, two methods that you can um, very commonly use to find the index of the value. So these will be helpful to find the values within the tuple if you are using tuple anywhere in your automation scripts or Python program and to count the occurrences of any of the values within tuple, right? So we have understood about length, type, count, index. Now, say so for example, uh, we have also seen in the previous tutorial about uh, accessing the value. So we can, as we know that tuples are indexed and they allow duplicate value. So if uh, like list tuples are indexed, so we can access the values of the tuple through the indexes, right? So we have seen that as well. So I can simply say um, demo tuple one. And if I want to access the value at three, I can simply provide the index three and the value will be printed. Now, there are other ways to access the values of the tuple. So I can use the loops as well. So I can simply say for X uh, in, so say for example, I will say demo tuple one and then colon and then print X. Okay, so I can say print X. And if I run this now, let me comment these lines above so that so that we can see the printed values. So now you can see all the values from the tuple demo tuple one have been printed on my console, right? So this is how we can use the for loop to get the values and print those values and manipulate the values basically. So we can loop through the values. We can use while loop. I'll cover all the loops um, and conditions basically. So looping uh, for loop while loop in the upcoming tutorial. So don't worry about that. But this is just a brief uh, demo about what all can you do on the tuple. Now, say for example, you want to join two tuples, right? So I want to join the tuple demo tuple with demo tuple one and create another tuple. So there is an operator. So you can use the plus operator. And what the join will do is it will create or it will give you another tuple. So I can simply say uh, join tuple. I'll define a variable and I can join two tuples there. So I can say demo tuple one and then use the plus operator and join with any other tuple. Okay. Or if I want to join, you know, one more tuple there. So demo tuple three. And if I print, the updated joined tuple and let's see what happens. You can see that a new tuple got created joined tuple which has all the values from all these three tuples. Okay and if we want, want to see that this is actually a tuple we can use the type method to get the type of the joined tuple. Okay so I can print I can see that this is actually of the data type uh, tuple and I can use type 
and I can use joined. I want to find the type of joint tuple. And you can see it is of class tuple, right? So these are some of the important methods. So count is very important one, length, type, index. And if you want to find the values of the tuple, you can use the indexes. You can you do all the operations that you, you usually do with the indexes. So I can get the range of the tuple. So I can simply say uh, demo tuple two, say for example, and I want to get the values from the index zero to index three. So I can simply say zero colon three. Let me comment this out. And if I run this, it should give me those values, right? So it has given me the values from zero to two. So when we say zero to three, it, it skips that particular third index. So if you see it has printed true, false, false. Okay. If I change it to two, it will only print true and false in this particular case. All right. So all those operations that we usually do with the indexes are possible. If I want to get the last value there, so I can start with the negative. So that will start from this value true. So because if you say minus one, it starts from the end index so that should print true for me in that particular case right so it has printed the last value okay so all those operations that we have seen with the uh, lists with the indexes that we have um, covered when we are covering the list you can do with the tuples as well so that's all for this particular tutorial on uh, tuples so go ahead and go through the documentation on the official python website about the tuple try to practice a lot because the more you practice the more comfortable you will become and you will find it really really easy to understand all these concepts i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching